Hi, I'm Old Sneelock. Welcome to another episode of Old Sneelock's Workshop. I'm working on the saw till. I want to do the final step. If you give yourself a little time, you can think of more than one way to solve a problem. I'll give you an example. The width of the saw tote is 7 eighths of an inch. When it's sitting in the rack, I want to have the blades sitting 5 eighths of an inch apart. That's an inch and a quarter, which is what I've allowed for in the drawing. And I want to have 5 eighths of an inch between the blades as they go across here. Now lay that out. I'm going to use a pair of dividers and I'm going to set them to 5 eighths of an inch. Go here to the 1 inch mark and adjust it so that they the points line up between the two lines. 5 eighths of an inch. Then to help me step this across, to help me step this across, I'm going to set this at the 5 eighths mark. And then come over here and prick a point. Spin the dividers, prick a point, spin, spin. Now why didn't I start right here at the edge? Because the divider says a thickness. Uh, that's going to throw off my measurement by just the thickness of that point. So if I start at the first 5 eighths, that's going to automatically be 5 eighths from the end wall. Because I have the ruler up against it. And I'm using the rule now just as a way to maintain the line. I'm not holding the rule down hard because I want to be able to spin the dividers and I can feel the divider pushing the rule just slightly as it's going through a non-concentric path. And I just slide that down because it doesn't matter where the markings are on the rule. The division is being made by the dividers. And that's the last one. I want to cut a slot through this about three quarters of an inch long. Just enough to get the teeth engaged, but not so much that it compromises the thickness of the support board along the top. Now I can take my pencil and go from the marked line, the line that I scribed across there is right there, a little hard to see. And I don't want to make it any better, any easier to see because I really want to have it disappear.
So now I cut a slat down into the wood about an eighth of an inch. I don't need a whole lot. All I want to be able to do is have this saw sink into the wood. And that'll keep them from sliding side to side. Now that you've seen that idea, what about this one? Shaker pegs. These shaker pegs are one half inch across. I originally intended to take a saw cut every five eighths of an inch across this to give the saw a place to drop into. But then I thought, you know, if I just put a shaker peg there, that shaker peg is going to leave an eighth of an inch gap in between the two pegs. Now I have more than enough pegs to do it. Some are already stained, so I think I'm probably going to have to stain all of them to make them look right. But if I use two shaker pegs, one in the center of each one of those holes, it'll leave an eighth of an inch in between them perfect distance to drop a saw blade in without having any problem with the teeth hitting. It'll hold it straight, it'll keep it in line. I think it's gonna work great. And I already have a bunch of them. They're left over from another project. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four pegs. And I have one, two, three, four, five, six, and then eight more. That's 14. I'm going to need some more of these pegs. But it looks like they're not very expensive. I bet I can get them at Hobby Lobby. If I can't get them there, I can get them up in uh, Charlotte. Bet I can get them at Hobby Lobby. I'm going to try there. If I can't get them there, I'll just have to keep looking. But this is what I'm going to do. So now, instead of having the holes spaced out on the lines, I'm going to put them exactly in between the lines. That means 5 sixteenths out from the end on each side, and then in the center of one of these slots all the way across. Half of 5 eighths is 5 sixteenths. Set it in the grooves, run the screw up, double check my distance.
with the till solidly clamped down, I can put my quarter inch auger bit in this tiny little drill. Now a quarter inch auger bit cuts a really nice square hole. Oh, that's going to work perfect. The thing I like about auger bits is the spurs score the wood so that the hole doesn't ever splinter out. They cut quick and clean. Even these little quarter inch bits do a good job. Kind of a bear to sharpen. Mostly because I have to use a magnifying glass. Having this short throw little brace is a really good thing. Makes it so that I can spin these quarter inch bits without having to spend quite so much time moving my arm around. More than enough power to run the bit with. They're nice for screwdriver bits too. I think this is going to work much, much better than cutting the slots. I don't have to worry about those thin walls chipping out on me. And some of the saws have such deep blades that they don't really want to sit down into this wood. They want to sit parallel with it. They, they run into the center support and actually don't even touch the top bar. So this is going to take care of that problem because the pegs are an inch and a half long. Even if they touch the middle bar and don't touch the top bar, they'll still be between the shaker pegs. Well, if I have to buy pegs anyways, No advantage to making an effort to try and stain them all the same color. I'll leave them blonde just like the original poplar. Then I'll put a coat of blow on them and that will turn them this nice amber color. And that should work excellent.
get those glued into place. That's going to set that up just perfect. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'll be able to get my saws in there. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve saws. Perfect. Well, I've got some shopping to do in the morning. Got to find some shaker pegs. That'll be a fun search. If you have any suggestions for a new video, questions about today's video, or any of the other videos on the channel, just drop a note in the comments. You know I read them all. Thanks for watching. I think it's going to look pretty good. It's going to be nice up here on the wall too. I better mount that pretty securely. It's going to be heavy by the time I get a dozen of these big guys in there.